I could probably fall asleep right now. Oh, we're back. Oops. Yeah, we're back. Uh, I could probably fall asleep right now. <laughs> <laughs> I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. I e <laughs> like just eavesdropping. He's like, what to do? Eavesdrop, I guess? Yeah. We're probably going to seem really <laughs> lame compared to all the other clubs, though. I guess, yeah, she can't whisper at all. <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. It's just <laughs> impossible for him to not hear it. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. <laughs> not with that attitude. Jeez. But it's not like that at all, you know? <laughs> Even if everyone else out there is stupid. <laughs> She's like, maybe we'll call it Dumb Dumb Book Club. <laughs> we just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Huh? What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. Loser. <laughs> I suggest we make a literature dodgeball. <laughs> <laughs> so it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative mind. Oh, yeah. Forget the mic is like in your A way. little bit, so I kind of dodge. I'm like... <sighs> ah. <laughs> What's this? Get one of these. <laughs> <laughs> God, I gotta watch the Love Guru again. So fucking funny. Siri is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Huh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? Work for me. <laughs> <laughs> what kind? Uh, well, I guess we could. Human. <laughs> Cupcakes! Ah, uh, good thinking! Natsuki would love to do that! Ah, you're right! Natsuki makes the best cupcakes! That works out perfectly! That wasn't why you suggested it! Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy! I'm hungry! <laughs> God. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. Yeah, I find myself smiling. <laughs> yeah. I, did they make the screen black so you can look at yourself? Like, it's like, like, a, like I'm just face down on the desk? Like it's supposed to be like you're uh, it's supposed to be like you looking into the screen, you see it turns black, you see oh, a yeah, reflection. Like... And like, I find myself smiling. Yeah, smiling. But like, you're, like you look in your reflection, you're not smiling. You're like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> In the end, Sayori is still her <laughs> usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Her voice. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what else, it, what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. She's like, get off my tits. Wow! I open my eyes and find Sayori's face filling my vision. Damn, did you gain some weight? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why are you so big? <laughs> my vision went widescreen. I nearly <laughs> fall out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. <laughs> it's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? <laughs> He's like, I'd I join that in a heartbeat. No cupcakes needed. You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know? He's like, well, then I quit. <laughs> That's why I said late. Duh. You'll need to get used to it. <laughs> Don't say that so loud. I can't help it. I speak, uh... <laughs> <laughs> How do you know? I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. Oh, he's trying to impress her. Ooh. It's true, though. 
Yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> <laughs> it's what I do best. <laughs> That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself, fatty. <laughs> <laughs> Just like... It's mean. Yeah. Still, we're sleeping every day, aren't you? You're like, that's a big crate of tummy, huh? Huh? Not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret. I knew it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Literally, a Sharpie marker. <laughs> huh? Sayori, Sayori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? It, it's, un, it's under your clothes. <laughs> How did you do that? <laughs> you were clearly in a rush this morning. Look at your hair, it's sticking out all around here. Ah! I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. Why is he critiquing her hair? Yeah, he's a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. He's an ass. He's like, look at this. You're just a mess. Disgusting. <laughs> an orange top with a blue skirt? Like, come on. <laughs> She's like, everyone does that. Yeah. Everyone's wearing that. It's a school uniform ass. You're like, that was last year. <laughs> yeah, one's in a different one. But... <laughs> like he has like three in his backpack. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls his closet. And there's toothpaste stain on your collar right there. I don't see it. I don't see it either. Try to wipe off the stain on my finger. That's my breast. <laughs> <laughs> B but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you that because they don't want to be—they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie! You don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Pathetic. Seriously, Sayori, why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? You whore! <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like he's like literally like, wow, God, you'd have a boyfriend already if it wasn't for this. Huh? <laughs> That's super mean! Sorry, but you'll thank me later. <laughs> Sorry to button her blazer from the bottom. What the hell? Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Your blazer will act as a... As a... Oh, fuck. I forgot what they called. What's it called? A girdle. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. like, your blazer's gonna act as a girdle. <laughs> It'll thin you right out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> what is? Well, we have matching boners. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. That's where the stream shatters. You're like, friend? <laughs> <laughs> Game over. You've made a friend. <laughs> yeah? Don't say that. You make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh... <laughs> I guess? Uh. Hey, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> hey, be careful. I'm walking here. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? Uh... Mm -hmm. I struggle to, f to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but I've eaten 147 cupcakes since then. <laughs> <sighs> Sigh. Sigh. If you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> Very loud. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you look much better now, so... Ah. 
Why does it feel so strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? She'll just flex and it'll bust open. <laughs> but oh. But it's so stuffy. Uh. <laughs> oh, you're gonna be like, ooh. <laughs> you you you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Phew. That's so much better. Let the titties free. Sari puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? Why are you saying it like it's a good thing? Because I'm a whore. <laughs> I don't need commitment or to be tied down. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. He like puts his, her, he grabs his hand, <laughs> shoves them on her breast. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it on button. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Huh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Like, you want to see my bare ass? <laughs> <laughs> you want to see my? Bear assing? <laughs> My bear ass sing? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lips are okay. Starts rapping with her ass. <laughs> Gotta lose yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see there's one that's like, um, they like put that uh, clip of like everyone like raising mm. their arm from eight mile. Oh, they, yeah. put, like, they put like this like German or like <laughs> something fun. It's like a uh, skeep bop, a scuba doo bop, <laughs> <laughs> so scuba doo bop, bop, bop. <laughs> oh so shit! Funny. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on things to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. Whoa. Spicy. You're doing it again, Sayori. Aw, oh, but I was joking that time. Or was I? You'll never know. Man, it's possible to tell, you, to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone! Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. <laughs> We're like, okay, everyone, undo your blazer so he can do them up. <laughs> Why don't we Ooh. share the palms we row now? Yay! <laughs> <clears throat> Philbert, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. <laughs> Can I read, read, read mine too? Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what I did. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sari still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Well, I wrote words. <laughs> yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe how I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I can't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. So I just looked in a thesaurus. <laughs> well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. You can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki's and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching to their bags. I do the same myself. And we will share our poems with the next episode. Ooh.